Seven garbage Clash of Clans attacks, and whether it's a Town Hall 13 failing to three star Town Hall 11, or some of the worst spell usage we've ever seen, we got some good attacks in this video. Can we attack number one? This man has a completely maxed out Town Hall 16, and he has no idea how poison spells work. He drops a poison on absolutely nobody, and you look at his army comp. This man's got five Root Riders, 15 Hog Riders, and then a couple E Dragons. He's dropping Rages on nothing, so then Champ straight into a Monolith. I mean, the Dragon Riders, the Giants, the Dragon, the Loons, the Root Riders, what is this attack? I mean, this, guy's going, this man is going straight into a Poison Tower, straight into the Town Hall. How can you be Town Hall 16 and not understand how a Poison spell works? He got absolutely no value with that, and then he's just dropping haste on nothing. I mean, I've seen accounts that I could assume have been purchased. This one has 100% been purchased. I mean, Supercell, wrap this kid up, ban this man. This man is dropping hog riders into a champ and uh, I mean, these hog riders, he dropped 15 on the bottom side. They're gonna take out like one building. Wrap this man up, send the ban hammer. This man is absolutely cooked. His king, his queen not getting much value at all. I mean, his flainer is absolutely already cooked by that CC. Queen down, king about to go down. And yeah, that man 100% purchased that account. Get him out of here. Can we attack number two? We got Partisan, and uh, this man, I do not believe he purchased his account. I think he's just a turbo noob. I mean, this man has Town Hall 13, and to be fair, he does not have all of his heroes. So, it's not a super fair battle, but still, uh, this man sends his champ straight into a single Inferno. I mean, a champ should be able to take out most of a Town Hall 11's base. All you have to worry about is really the CC, maybe an Archer, the defensive heroes, and the single Infernos, and this man goes straight into that single Inferno. Warriker goes down, and then his Keen and these E-Dragons are just gonna to absolutely slow down these Ice Golems. And of course, this man, not only does he have not all of his heroes up, but he's using like three P.E.K.K.A.s with four E-Dragons and other, like you do not want to have three P.E.K.K.A.s when you're using mainly E-Dragons. And then he drops a heal on the Town Hall. A heal is really not, doesn't get much value for E-Dragons or P.E.K.K.A.s, you know, you really want to use Rages, but this man decides, you know, he is one of the worst armor comps I've ever seen. Drops a Rage when they're taking out Builder Huts right now, I mean, I guess it doesn't matter what spells you use, if you just drop them in the completely wrong spots. I mean, if you look right here, he drops a Rage, and it hits the E-Dragon, but the E-Dragon flies out of that Rage because it's not placed correctly, and because of that, this E-Dragon is not going to be able to take out the air defense. And I mean, there's only one air defense left. And if, if you notice, this man had all of his expos set to ground. So if this man was just an all air attack or just an anything better, but that air defense staying up, cause the E-Dragon to one HP and go down to black air mine. Absolutely tragic. Coming attack number three. We got T Mad Thing 09 or something, whatever. This man is from Dublin. I think his name is like Dublin something. If you remember, he was the guy that used like 150 archers. But this guy is in Dublin's clan. And uh, I went back and looked to see if Devil was attacking, didn't see any of his attacks, but I found this guy's attacks and Team Mad dropping a couple of E Dragons. But then this man drops a Lightning on Eagle, Freeze on a Double Cannon, Invis on a Double Cannon, a Rage on nothing, a Clone on the Eagle, and another Invis. I think that clone is crazy. I mean, he just put a nice little blue circle around the Eagle. Nothing is going to get cloned. I mean, three spell slots to make the ground blue is crazy. And oh my goodness, this man has all of his heroes, and he's completely maxed Town Hall 13. Hero, or you know, maybe he just got to 13, so all of his heroes are upgraded, or maybe he used potions. I don't know. I didn't really look into it too too much, to be honest with you. But uh, this man, the champ, it's not looking too good because she's going straight into a single inferno. And if he would have, you know, saved two of his invis towers, I mean invis spells, she would have been perfectly fine. But of course, he dropped them on basically nothing. And his heroes somehow made it around the whole base because man is uh, did some anti funnel and did not end up going through the center of the base. It's not looking like they can get that town hall because I think the archer queen is not going to be able to get even target it. Super archers are going to go down. What a noob! And coming attack number four, we got TG Mad Thing 009 again. I mean, this guy is a legend. Like, look at his armor comp. This man drops, drops like what five super archers right there on the outside of the base. Drops some giants. Got a wall rocker going to the town hall. And, oh, I guess this man, uh, maybe he just got, whatever. He has a level 6 champion, level 11 warden, and a level 14 king. And then he drops five golems. Five golems after he already dropped the rest of his army. I mean, what is this man doing? To be fair, that was a pretty good keen ability with the earthquakes that did hit the town hall. But then he drops a rage, a jump spell that does absolutely nothing, a freeze, and another clone on an eagle. 
does he not understand what the eagle, I mean, the clone does. And then he drops a poison on the town hall. I mean, on the CC, but there's no actual troops there. So like, the, and the jump spell is completely useless. I mean, TG Mad 009 is absolutely mad. What is this attacker doing? And coming attack number five, we got uh, F Keen, we'll just say. It's clearly not what his name is, but F Keen comes in and he drops an overgrowth spell. But a lot of things that people don't know about the log launcher, I think if there's like three defenses in front of the log launcher, it actually won't move. Obviously it won't move if uh, there's an overgrowth spell in the way, because you can't take out those defenses. So it's not just gonna go past those, right? So it's basically just stop there, did nothing. So, and then he's gonna drop a, start a queen walk on the bottom side, and he's gonna send two golems into a single inferno with no support. What are they tanking for, right? Golems are good tanks. If you use them correctly, though, because they, just because they have the most HP doesn't mean they tank for anything, right? They need to be tanking damage for something. But instead, this man drops those, they do absolutely tanking for nothing. And then he drops two Lava Hounds straight into his air defense. I mean, I think this guy, from the looks of it, has all ground expos. So that might be a ba you know, might be an attack where you want to use all air troops. But uh, And this man uses a fireball to take out one Tesla Tower and a gold storage. I mean, this attack is just, it's just in shambles from the start to finish. I mean, he used two golems that tanked for nothing. They got zero value. Then he used two Lava Hounds, which tanked for uh, Casper the Ghost, got no value. And now his heroes are going on the outside of the base, drages up the healers to keep his uh, warden alive, but he's another rage. Drop another one. Another one. And then, uh, yeah, his champ goes down. Key in the top side, drops an invis for some reason on his Archer Queen. And then he's gonna drop some bat spells. I mean, this attack. And then he's got archers. I mean, what are we doing? We got like 40 archers. We're barching in a uh, clan war. We're not gonna want to do that. I mean, 40 barbarians and like 30 archers. What is this? And then two lava hounds and two golems? I mean, I can't see any possible way this would work unless we, we took a time machine back to 2016 or 2015 and the troops actually cost elixir. Becoming attack number six, we got the goat, Janice, the queen of Clash of Clans. And she is going to be dropping some lightnings. And to be fair, not all those lightnings hit. But old Janet, I mean, I don't know what happened, but old Janet would have dropped on one uh, expo at, the, at a time and then went to the other one. She figured out she could drop them in the middle and hit both. So she's getting better at the game. I gotta say, that is an improvement. Unfortunately, her champ is going straight into a single inferno and he's gone. And, his, and her warden already used her ability on nothing. So minor improvement in the gameplay. But uh, still absolutely tragic, to be honest. I would love to get Janet and, you know, get a, make a video of me coaching her how to play the game. Unfortunately, she doesn't know about the videos and she's like 50 years old, so... I don't know if that's ever gonna happen, but that is a good idea. If anyone's ever in one of these videos, I could definitely coach them, help them out. But yeah, I mean, she's gonna drop a bunch of E-Dragons. Not gonna do too much value here. I mean, as you can see, they're kind of making their way to that Monolith. That Monolith has a Rage on it and a scatter shot, and with her Warden being dead, that's really what you'd need your Warden ability for, right? To keep those dragons up, use the Warden ability through that Rage Monolith, make it get as little value as possible, take out all that stuff, and she would've been fine. Unfortunately, her Warden died in the first, first 15 seconds of that attack. Coming attack number seven, we got HK. And this man, HK, is gonna drop a nice little uh, wall wrecker here, which, I mean, I don't know why we see so many wall wreckers. It's such a, I think it's just because of uh, the availability. I think a lot of these tr people you see in these videos, I usually join like dead clans, because, you know, no one that's really good is gonna be in a level 20 clan. They'll probably be in a level two, three, four. So, but anyways, this man drops a champ. I mean, this, this is the third time in this video. Someone's dropped a champ straight through a single inferno. It goes down. Her, this person's queen's getting targeted by a single inferno has to pop her ability. And I mean, it's not looking good. So that bomb takes out all the mini archers and now she goes down to single inferno. This man drops a skeleton spell on the single inferno, which is the smart play. If he would have done that, you know, maybe 45 seconds ago. But unfortunately, all of his troops are gone. I mean, this man is absolutely cooked. Now he's just dropping his, dra his uh, dragons on the left and right side. And this man brought five overgrowth spells. Five overgrowth spells. I mean, that could work. It's not gonna work in this attack, unfortunately. And I do gotta say, uh, rip the druids. They absolutely nerfed the hell out of the druids. I mean, I thought they were just gonna nerf the hero healing on them. They just nerfed them straight to the ground. I mean, now they're useless. But that's just Clash of Clans for you. What can you do? And of course, this man's not gonna get the two star. He's just gonna get the, what is what is this? 64% uh, one star, not the worst deck ever. I'm stronger, I'm smarter, I'm better. I am better.